All right. Hello, the world. How's everybody tonight? Uh, I didn't pop my sprite yet. There we go. Cheers. So there won't be music in y'all's ears because I rebooted my router and changed the IP address of my servers and I don't have it set up yet to automatically deal with that. They're not in bar, there by name or defined. So the music was on my server. Now my stream PC, stream PC can't get to it and I could go find it or do whatever, but I didn't want to go through that. So uh, no music tonight. Uh, I have a little bit in my headphones and that's actually one of the things I'm going to do at some point is set up a thing where it can sync. So out of band, right? So I can do this. You won't hear music directly, but you could listen to what I'm listening to by clicking on this other thing. Um, so that's part of where we're going um, as we come up the level from yak shaving. Excuse me. He burps and then drinks more carbonated beverage. Um, pardon me. Um, yeah, so one, it's kind of interesting. So I'm on this Discord now and this Tailwind thing just came across which looks super interesting for making websites for CSS and stuff. Um, so I'm super curious because I'm thinking about redoing my site a little bit and doing it in different ways and all this other stuff. So it's kind of neat to see, like this, this is now going to be the thing that I'm playing with because the, the, the discord that I'm on has a whole bunch of people who do a whole bunch of this type of work and they are going like, yes, this looks pretty awesome. So, and like at some level you pick one and go, right? Um, but it's neat that this one just came out, so it's going to be super fresh um, and fun to play with. So, wait, that's a responsive everything? Responsive everything. I like it. Throw a screen size in front of literally any utility class and watch it magically apply to a specific breakpoint. Speaking of which, there you go. Uh, that's cool. So I'm going to be playing with that. Tailwind, yep, absolutely, Jason. JSON web dev. I love it. Uh, yeah, I just saw this today uh, on a Discord that I'm on and looks pretty slick. I'm, I'm just now getting back in a little bit into the web game. So uh, I'm trying to figure out how I want to theme my site a little bit or do something with it. Um, and this, this just came up. So it's like, I'm going to use this. This looks pretty awesome. Uh, but that's for the future. For now, what we're going to try and do is build a little snake case tool. Um, and, oh, everything's kind of weird. The job, uh, right. You still have IV-11? I'm sorry. I, I have been in that pain before, not specifically with IE 11, but with older browsers. We ran, um, Windows 98 for the longest time, uh, which was not my favorite. Uh, to say the least, uh, but yeah, hopefully that'll get you fast. Do you, do you get to use Chrome though? Or do you got you locked down so that you can only use IE, um, or whatever Safari or not Safari. Um, well, Safari, if you're on a Mac, but, uh, what's the other one? Firefox losing my brain. Um, oh, that's my scratch pad. Uh, can my server, the IP address of my server change? And it won't mount on one computer, but it mounted on this one. But I kind of don't want that to happen because I don't know how it's, how it's happening. Um, so I'm just going to not mount on the server right now. Uh, the But what I'm trying to do is I'm, I've got this tool that I'm working on. I've got a whole bunch of MP3 files that I got from YouTube's free music library. But they're like regular file names with like spaces and parentheses and all kinds of stuff in there. So this tool is basically going to go and like snake case them to move them down so it's just lowercase letters and numbers with underscores um and i've got it basically done uh but i'm just kind of doing some integration testing on it to get the the command line aspect of it going um so that's kind of where i'm headed oh but you got to support it yeah um i am a veteran of the original browser wars and i can i can appreciate that i uh i don't envy anybody who has to deal with that. I, th I think there's some things that were probably tougher back then, but some things that are probably way tougher now. Um, but in general, it's just no fun. It's like, why can't this just go? Uh, but 
it's neat to watch the progress of stuff to move it. Like, even though I haven't really been in the biz to watch the movement of getting into the more like, Hey, write this code and by and large, this will work. Right. That's becoming more and more of a thing. Um, exceptions of course, but nothing like having to do IE 11 support or whatever. At least that's what I think. That's my impression from seeing other people talk about it. I haven't been in those trenches in a while. Starting to get back into it. At least a little bit. Um, so test integration. So this is something I'm struggling with a little bit on this one is how to test this. Because it's going to be a command line thing that interacts with the file system. And so I started using this FFFS fake file system fake something for Python. Where'd it go? Yeah, FS and it's pi fake FS, which is surprisingly hard to say. But yeah, so I'm trying to figure out if I'm just going to throw commands to the library or if I should actually run. I think I should actually run the script, right? And try and run it as if it was the thing. Like if, as an integration test, that's what you would do. Um, I'm not exactly sure how to do that. We'll find out. Uh, so this is going to be the thing. It's super simple, right? It's just like, here's all you do to lowercase and fix a name. Um, and we've got a stack of tests sitting underneath it somewhere that go all the different f possible file names that we'd want to, that I can think of to test. And so it's going to start in main. And we're going to call main. And so main's going to get its arguments and the arguments are going to be nothing but paths to files. And we're going to pass that into snake case as a, I guess you do it as an array. So this is where I'm trying to figure out the, the kind of points of separation for the various things, because this is kind of the first time I've approached this like this and it's all new and I don't have a good guideline on it. Um, so snake case comes in. Yeah. So move, we're just doing the straight rename. That's cool. That's the integration point, right? How are we going to get, all right, I'm going to start making this a little bit. So in def main, let me get my args parse. Oh, I didn't put that in, did I? All right, here we go. Arg parse. My little grimoire here, my book of notes and magic. Um, so this is the argument parser and we're just going to copy and paste that because we want to do this in main. We want to grab, like you need to define in main, we don't need to, but whatever we're going to, um, a files parameter, a files argument, uh, variable, something. And so all that stuff gets parsed into that and so args.files will have so scn is going to be our snake case name nope there we go that's one snake case names okay that's what i'm calling it not 100 percent sure about the names yet I mean, snake case something is going to be in there, but we'll see. So we get that, and then, yeah, we just do change names args.files. Okay, so that's just going to pass. Okay, so that gives us the target, right? We're going to go into change names. So we need to make change names. Uh, and how would we want to 
do an integration test on that. So we can do this as, cause I like trying to do, you know, red green stuff. Def setup. So def change, test change names, test change names, test change names. Uh, let's actually do this because I've got a hotkey for that. And it makes it easier to do this. So just run that, make sure everything's working. Okay. And I did, I, I installed uh, some software called S Tunnel the other day that went through Homebrew and Homebrew installed all kinds of craziness. And it really, it messed with my Python stuff. So things are weird. Like sometimes this thing will um, test with unit test and sometimes it'll test with PyTest. I have no idea what's going on, but as long as it comes back green, I'm okay with it. So change, you know, we change names, right? Plural. I put this over here just so I can get the order going. So we're going to that. Then we're going to snake case names. Let me get rid of this one for a minute. And there's our integration. I don't know why these are blue. Some, oh, it must've changed. Um, why is set up there? Gotcha. So we're going to get rid of that for a minute. So what we're going to be passing it is a list of names. So files is going to be, um, some file dot text and another file dot text. Well, let's start with, let's just start with one. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves here. So expected is basically going to be, so to start with, we need to make that file. I'm gonna split this out a little bit so I can see what's going on. Given this, given this, and we're just gonna put that straight in there. Guess I could have captured the quotes. Okay, there we go. Um, when we run SCN. Change names, right? Change names with the files. All right, so I'm gonna run this right now and this is gonna break because that doesn't exist, but I wanna do this piece by piece, right? So that's breaking because that method doesn't exist, right? Okay, cool. So now we can go make that, which we'll do right here. Try and keep them alphabetical. And then it's going to have an argument coming in, which is files. We're just going to pass it right now. We're just making the small incremental changes between red and green, hopefully. Oops, nope, broke something still. It takes one positional argument to recover. Oh, 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 files equals files. See, that's why we do this step by step, because I want to make sure I'm at green before I, every, every little chest, I'm a very small step person. Um, all right, so that's got that. And then, then I really didn't need to create that yet, but whatever. Um, we're gonna get rid of this for a second. Then what we need to have is assert true I'm stealing a little bit of this. And we're just going to hard code this in for a minute. Some file that text. So now if we run this, that's going to fail because that file doesn't exist. Cool. Okay. So there's our failing test. Now we can actually go make it work. 
All right, so this, okay, this is the integration point right here. And so, like I don't have a good way to split this down even further that I can think of. I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can do it after the case, which isn't the best way to do that, right? But I wanna see if I can, I can't think of how to do it yet. And I don't have enough experience yet to, to figure that out. So for file and files, Yeah, source equals file. Destination is going to be update name. Of file. And then you just do move file. With source equal to source. Destination equal destination. Right? I don't know why that's green. Why is that green? Typo in word dest. Just doesn't like the word dest, but it likes it there. Okay, whatever. Um, so, and, so I'm using the file test thing, so it should... It's kind of weird to like work on a file system, but only virtually. But so we're passing our files in. We're going to do them one at a time. We're going to save the name of the first path because that's what we're going to want. Then we're going to set up, we're going to figure out our destination by going to do all our magic. And then we're going to do our move, which is simple here. Um, and I wanted to move, yeah, I, I, you could put this move straight in there, but I kind of like it having split out as a separation of concerns. So I don't know, let's run it and see what happens. Cross his fingers. No. Update name. Oh, because I got to give it this file path string equals, which is not the best name, but it's what we have right now. Passed. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be that surprised. Like all the stuff. All the rest of the mechanisms are kind of lined up, so. But that's still pretty cool. Yeah, so, and now. Yeah, I'm okay keeping this in here for the test, for just testing this, the explicit move. I guess you could move that out to the regular test instead of the integration test, but whatever, it's fine there. Um, so that's cool. That's really cool. That's working. So next thing is going to be, let's pass it. So that's when it gets a single file. Let's pass it a few different files. Test change names two. I know you shouldn't copy and paste tests like that, but that's what we did. Um, so Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so we, we can, we can do the creation of, file. Well, no, 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 we're going to, we're just going to do it step by step. Like I'm not super worried about trying to uh, avoid duplication here or cut things, cut things down. We'll go through and uh, where's my other, I do want to get my other cases, my other tests going because inside of there, we had some letters that are not straight ASCII, like they're Unicode letters. Um, and I wanna make sure that Unicode stuff gets covered. So this is given test two. So here, we'll make this the first one. Oops, we'll make this the first one. So we're gonna make that file. And then I'm going to do, well, actually we can just fire up and do the, no, I do want to do this separate. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. So I want to do single file in current directory, multiple files in current directory, and then 
multiple files in different directory and make sure that all those work. Like probably if the last one works, the first ones will, but uh, those are different enough worlds that I want to make sure that they're tested properly. Um, so let's find another one that has some craziness in it. Um, I want to do that one in the next one. Whatever, it's fine. Just pick one. Just pick one. Do, 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 do. Let's find a cool one. Though. Yeah, here we go. Let's get one that has all the crazy spaces and stuff in it. Uh, yeah, sorry. The music is not going for... Oh, look at that. That was kind of weird. Um... The music was on my server that the IP address is changed on and I didn't get it rolling. So please listen to your own Spotify or your own your own joyous music right now. You don't have to listen to the basic stuff that runs behind most people these days because of copyright. So I'm working on that. <laughs> All right, so there's those two. And then Paths Exists. Uh, I'm going to steal those paths right out of these so I don't have to copy them. Yeah, so this this was the rename. Now I'm actually doing the integration point of do the, do the files actually move, which they absolutely should, but sometimes that's not how things go. Doesn't actually matter which way we put that in. Um, okay, so let's run that. Hopefully we still pass. Yeah, we passed. Let's run both of them. Three passing tests. Cool. <laughs> I'm getting excited about this. All right. So last one is going to be with file paths. Or like with directory structure, right? You know, actually, yeah, I can just throw whatever at it, right? So path from spaced oh whoops yeah i gotta get both of them spaced root all that jazz and then rel path. So none of this should change. So I should be able to straight copy that and paste this here. And then, oh, I'm kind of sad you guys don't get to hear the music with me. It's a little Paul Simon going. Oh, fail. No such file or directory and fake file system, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I didn't make them. Aha. That'd be awesome if that's the trick. Oh, oh, okay, right. Maybe it'll just make these. I guess I don't have to worry about making directories inside this thing. Maybe, we'll see what happens. Holy cow, it worked. That's super cool. That's super cool. Okay, that's really cool. Again, it probably shouldn't be that surprising, but it's just cool. Me and Huli go down by the schoolyard. Most routines for 
NT or POSIX, depending on what system we're on. Is exports? I don't know what I'm hovering over. Oh, OS. Interesting. Every now and then I don't like that with PyCharm pops up those things whenever you hover on anything. Okay, so that's... That's all tested. Uh, I don't know if you're supposed... To, wait, I thought I was blocking out egg info. The snake case names. I guess I could have actually clicked on it over there. Um, huh. Really thought I took that out. Uh, star egg info star, maybe? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I got it. Nope, didn't get all of them. Why? How's that? I actually don't know. I'm sure you're not supposed to commit those, right? Maybe you are. Let's find out. Should you commit egg info? Egg vento and version control. If all is updated in the package initial entry point, that'd be a response. Release. If any feature change to the package, you need to update the version number house. So you know the version. So if you're using eggs from a VSC, Pip already takes care of the egg info for you. Just from Pip. Install EFU. Again, it'll update. It's entirely generative of the source. Only commit the source to the version control system and leave the egg entirely out of it. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, so I can do this. Snake, snake, snake case names dot egg info star, right? That should get it. It's still here. Did I already commit it? Is that what happened? I'm about to not care. Oh, I must have already committed it accidentally. Okay. Uh, I forget how to get stuff out of Git right now. I'm not going to worry about this right now. It's not going anywhere other than my computer. Um, all right, so that's going. So we're going to call main. Main's going to do its argument parsing. It's going to throw everything to it, and it's going to go, oh, I know what we need to do. I know what we need to do. Um, there's one more case that we want to deal with, which is, so it's doing all the renaming stuff. We want to make sure that if two files get renamed to the same thing, that would create a collision and one would write, overwrite the other one, that the process stops um, and maybe doesn't even start. Um, it wants two spaces. So how do we test that? Um, So change names really needs to have So really what I need to do is push this into is push it into like a list of lists and Trying to figure out what the best way to do that is. Yeah, you can't, I don't want to do the, I don't want to do these instantly. I need to do a pre-flight check 
to make sure everything's cool. And so that would actually need, I need to test that. Um, that would be not an integration test. Like a, that needs to be a test test. So how, what's the methodology that I want to use to do that? Um, Hmm. Um, so files would come in and files we'd actually, okay. So we can just add files to an instance variable. And then for files and files, we'd create I mean, you could make a dict. I'm just not sure if. Hmm. I, I could cut. What's funny is like, like I could code this pretty easily. I'm just trying to figure out how you do, how to test it to get into it. Like I'm trying to do, you know, test driven. And I can't think of how you would. Like I would hmm, about to just start writing code to see if that happens. Cause that's how I would do it. If I wasn't writing tests, it's just kind of mess around with it. So if you've got snake case names, what we want is def test. Let's do this. I remembered it's there. Def test. Um, do not overwrite files. So what's the behavior that I want to have happen is the other question, right? Um, actually, I'm going to start this at the integration level and then back my way into it, I think. It doesn't matter where I write the test. So what would what you'd have is File set, which is what I should have called the other thing, is um, AAA space or AAA BBB dot text. And then, oh, wait, wait, here we go. Doesn't really matter, it just has to be the thing that would collide. So AAA space BBB dot text. Yeah, so really this should be set up. So this should be moved into an instance variable. SEN dot file set source files is at list. And then what we want to have happen is run files is false, right? So that's that's really the kind of the key that we're having here. So um, expected equals false, actual equals SCN, okay to run. That doesn't exist, so this is gonna crash. That doesn't exist. Let's make sure that's what error message we're seeing. Yeah. Okay, cool. So let me get rid of that for a minute. Let me bring us over here. Get all set up. So def, okay to run. Return. And so right now, it's still going to fail because even though it exists, we're not getting false back. Expected actual. Oh, you know what I could just do is I know I could just put it straight in there, but I like having I like setting the variable and then putting the variable in as the test so that you're always testing on on a variable that way. Um oh, 20 past passed. That's not what's supposed to happen. 
That shouldn't have passed. Why did that pass? If it doesn't return anything, does that be mean false? Is that what's happening? True is not false. Oh, I guess that's the case. If you don't return a value, it, come, it assumes it's a false or a negative. I did not know that. That's cool. Okay, so now we got we got a test. Everything's green. Let me just make sure everything's green. Everything's green. Twenty tests. So now we can actually figure this out. So okay to run. And again, I'm just trying to figure out where you would do all this stuff. But let me. I'm thinking about it too much, right? We're just going to make progress and see what happens. So def okay to run. So. I'm going to do this inefficiently. Like I already recognize this is inefficient, but it's going to get me to a place where I've got a thing. Um, I'm just going to leave that returning false for a minute so that I can keep my test passing. And then we're going to go through this slowly but surely. So what's the best way to do this? Um, Well, I could just make a, a set, right? Um, uh, current list equals set of nothing. For file in self file set. Set of files, what did I call it? So the source files. The other thing we need to do is put this up here and actually just call it so that it's there. Def init. Is that how we want to do that? Yeah, I guess I can just straight overwrite that. And this is the other thing that I'm still unsure about with like testing and how you do this stuff and what the right way to do. Why is that yelling? Unexpected argument. Can't you put stuff in a set? Was a set of square bracket? Do you do parens and then I really wish Python examples were better. My set. Oh, it's squigglies. Oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. Right. Right, right, right. Squiggly. So dic a list. How's that different from a dictionary? just because you're not putting in the colons, I guess. See, I still don't know this stuff enough. Uh, source files, there we go. So that's set our source files. This is gonna set our source files up here just to have it. Still feels weird. To current list self source files. If file in current list return false. I feel like I'm doing too much here. Else current list. What do you append to a set? How do you add stuff to a set? I'm 
I'm assuming you can. Add, okay. Yes, okay, yeah, yeah. So add file. Yeah, so what this should do, if I comment this out, we should still pass, right? Uh, I ran the wrong code. Let's try it here. Dict has no, oh, it is a dict. What, how? I need to find a set. Set of Greek letters. Oh, but you have to have a comma in there. Oh, uh, no, you do it that way. Okay, whatever. So I did have it right. Oh, I am confused. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So you, you could put it in squirrel bracket and square brackets. I gotcha. So now let's see what happens. Actually, this should fail. Should fail. Because I'm not adjusting the names. This actually should be true. I did this backwards. None is not true. Okay, interesting. So if we make it if we make it all the way through there, we're gonna return true. Because if we catch one, it's gonna return false. This is how I should have tested it to start with. I shouldn't have put all this stuff in there yet, but it's gonna be okay. Or we'll have a test on there in a minute to catch it. Yeah. Okay, so we're going through. Let's just run this one specifically. Yeah, we're looking at the ooh, yeah, so it. No, this needs to be false. Right, this one needs to be false, but I want to have one that is true. File A, file B, V, whatever, PV. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing some duplication here. I'm gonna I'll I'll back out of it, but like um Yeah, because what Well actually I should probably just go ahead and make that move. Um Cause yeah, because what I was about to do was set up to where I'd have to look I'd have to do the manipulation of the file twice. Um which theoretically shouldn't be a problem, right? Because they're computers, they do the same thing over and over again. Um, so really what I want to do is def test. So I'm not sure, like, mm. This is me learning how to test, is what this is. So that OK to run, we're going to get to. But the first thing we want to do is actually build, build, proposed, move list, self. So. Whoa, where did that come from? Given source files equals, oh, it's a set though. Do I want to keep that as a set? Or I want to keep that as a list. I think I want to keep that as a list. That should just be a list. Yeah, because that's actually what's going to be coming in. So source files, when we when we send in the stuff, that's going to be the list.
Yeah, we can actually do that in a second. I'm not liking any of these songs that you can't hear. That's not bad. The volume's in like six different places, though. So source files. I'm not worried about this is just making the proposed file list. So this is the translation from the source files into the proposed list. File a.txt. I don't have to worry about whatever it's doing. Given that, when build propose move list, this is going to fail right here because that doesn't exist. So we're just going to make that exist. We're going to do this step by step. Should pass. Is all the rest of our stuff passing? Yes. So once we do that, then expected is going to be a list. So what's the format of the thing that we want to have in there? Um, so it's going to be a list of lists. Whatever, we can leave that there. Yeah, so this is what we need. See, this this way we, we build this list one time and then we make the determination by looking at it if we're okay to run or not. Um, that way we don't have to like look at the files while we're making the determination and then look at them when we're about to move them because um, theoretically something could go different in there. This is like do it once, get it as a single source, single source of truth. So that's our expected actual and I'm just going to get this green for a second just to make sure the test is running. Actual equals and then self assert equal expected actual. So this should run, right? OK, good. We didn't boof anything. Boof. SCN proposed move list which is gonna be a variable. Oh, weirdly, you could actually, you could just make that. I don't know if I wanna have a separate, yeah, you, so you don't necessarily need to call a separate thing. You could just call that directly. You can call it this way. So I don't need to have another, I don't need to make a build given that the expected and the actual. So this is not going to be there now. So this is going to fail. Uh, and this becomes this, which we're going to move down here. No P, Q, R, S, T, U. OK, got to do the alphabet. So still going to fail because we're not getting, you know, none is not equal to that. But now we're going to get green real fast. Oh, whoa, whoa. Uh, no, yeah, so we just do self proposed move list. Wait, no, it's returning it, returning it, returning it. We're not, we're not assigning it, we're just calling it. Uh, it's kind of a jump step, but that's all right. Passed. And let's just make sure that we're really in the right place. Failed. Because we should see the difference there somewhere. Yeah, right there. And then pass it again. Let's go back and forth a little bit on like, I like to see that a few different times. Um, 
Okay, so now we can make this. Yeah, okay, this is cool. This is how we can do this. And like you could throw this into a variable. We're going to run through the loop twice when we're doing this because we're going to do once to look at it, make sure it's okay, and then a second time to actually move it. I'm okay with that. Or should you? No, you really should. Yeah, since we need it twice, we really should just write it. You shouldn't run it twice. Okay, okay, that's fair. I'm assuming, like I, like I said, this is just me doing stuff. So we're gonna build it, and then we're gonna grab it from here as a instance variable. Who knows if I got all that wrong. That was a couple more jumps than I normally do, but that's okay. All right, so we're gonna drop one here, see what happens. Oh, still passed. See, something's wrong. Oh, because I was in the wrong place. Expected, try this. Now something explode. Yeah, and do we see it? Right there. Run again, green, okay. So I can actually get rid of this one now. We got the working one going. Yeah, so now we're just gonna populate for real. So we're gonna do that, and then, mm, you know what we could do? is this, this probably makes more sense. Yeah, and then we add to it. I like that, that's pretty good. Cause that way we don't have to make a temporary value down here. Um, for file in self source files, And we could just do so source equals file. And I recognize that I'm just doing that. Well, actually, let's do this. Destination equals self dot update name for file. And then self proposed move list append file destination. So I'm going to run this just to see if it compiles, which it does not because I broke something. Update to, oh yeah, yeah, I keep doing that. I like passing explicit names, but sometimes I forget about it. Test passed, okay, which we expected because we're just doing this here. But now if I comment this stuff out, that's the real test. Passing. Okay, cool. So that's doing it. And bring that up there. It's not too bad. Um, creating list of files, list of file moves. This change names is going to go away, probably. Oh, no, it's just going to be a little bit different. Um, we test with that. And while we're here, run basic move. Uh, I'll go like look later and see where we're testing that. Um, yeah, so we populate the names. 
the files. We build our list through the updates. And then there's gotta be the move. Okay, but we need to do the pre-flight check. So this is where we do okay to run. Oh, I'm in the wrong file. No wonder. I was confused. There's supposed to be this whole like ask or tell don't ask thing, but like. Well, so how. Yeah, so I guess. So we build the list and the list does the names and we're testing that. So I guess you could basically just say run. And then would you, would you explicitly test? Like, is that testing internals? I guess is the question. And I still don't have my head around that really great, but I think you, I think you would want to test that explicitly, right? Yeah, you would need to like. It, there's enough going on there that you need to test it. Um, so I guess you could you could if you want to say if you want to just use the language of test, make sure you're not going to overwrite files, right? Make sure files will not collide. So the source file, so yeah, the only thing that we're going to pass into it is source files, right? Because that's the only state of the file that you would have or the state of the thing, right? So we can do force, force files. Source files. Given this, and we want. So we want to do one that passes, that's true. We need to do this both times. We need to do this both ways. We need to test the logic of both things. Um, Yeah, but see, I, I still feel like it needs to be a question. Will files collide? Because then what you do is then, and we're just going to do this to start with, because this is going to fail, because that doesn't exist. to get rid of this. I like this better because you don't have to do the reverse logic. If will files collide? True. Then don't run on true, right? It's better to have, is it okay to run? True, it is. Okay, okay to run. False, it is not. Okay to run. Return true. Just clear that out. This is fine right now. Source files. I do kind of like the given when then. Self assert true actual. So this should now pass. Right up to the point where it doesn't. Oh yeah. Is it okay to run? We change the name. That's actually helpful because now we know that that test is wired up properly. Um, is true. Now we do another one. Is 
is false. I mean, this is going to have file A and file space A. Because what will happen is that will turn into an underscore and those files would collide. And so what we're going to do, this is not going to pass because we're hard coded to return true. Let's verify that that's what's happening. Yep, true is not false. Very deep philosophical statement. But what I want to do is do this. So just as a practice, I don't want to mess with the one that's already working. Um, so we're going to make another one here for a second. Now if we run our tests, everything should pass. We're gonna run the full suite just to make sure. Cool, full suite runs. So now I've got this and I can actually work with this. Oh, but you do have to make it. So you'd be better to just call, right? I keep going back and forth on that. Like, it would just be better to call propose list by a lot. Yep, we're switching that back. Those can be there, but unit test skip work in progress so I run that I just want to make sure it skips it test ignored one one cool um yeah you don't want to have to call that method anything that you don't have to call right okay 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 so yes I'm gonna break this about six different ways So actual really is going to be proposed move list like that. I should test into this. I'm not going to. Um, we're going to take this out and do this. OK, this is fine. We're going to test into it. It's fine. There's a test. Yeah, list object is not callable. That's cool. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to move this to an internal. And now this doesn't exist. Right? Cool. So I'm still, this is still effectively new to me in terms of like thinking through this stuff. So we're just going to get the green really fast because right now it's just expecting something to come back. So we're just going to straight return it. And hopefully that passes. That passes. Okay, right. Now I can do a little work. So we'll get rid of this. And so what we want to have happen, where's that build? We can get most of the code. So we're going to run this exact same thing. Oh, no, no, this, this goes all the way away. Because we're not updating it. We're just, whenever we call, the method is going to assemble based off the data. Uh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Propose move list right here. So for file and source files, and there's probably a better, faster way to do this. Like doing some type of cool assembly stuff that I don't know how to do yet. Cause right now I want to do is proposed 
move list. Is it bad to have the same thing in there as the name of the method? Propose list, whatever. So I just get a propose list append. All right, so let's just run, make sure that still compiles. It does. And then here, if we return it, still works. Okay, so that's, that's it. And then we're gonna clear that. Again, we're just gonna make sure that it fails here. Somewhere there's an extra A in the middle of this. Expected A file, there you go, okay. Okay, so that's working. Yeah, so this this is gonna give us whatever we need in terms of the file list. Like that's we know we trust the fact that the names are being converted properly because that's tested somewhere else. This is just the assembly to make sure that that stuff works. Um or that gets combined right in the right orders. So that's proposed move list. And so we can drop build proposed move list. I kind of want to take this out already, but we'll leave it there for now. Okay. So I can come back here. Move to calling proposed move list via method instead of building it with uh, another method. So this is what we're going to get back into now. And this should still be passing, I think, right? because it's still thinking it's okay to move because we're just hard coded to false to go back. Okay, but it needs to not say that. It needs to say false for real. So is it okay to run? What we need to do is, well, we can just make it a list, right? Um, scene files equals this. And then for file in for file set in self propose file list, because it still should be able to iterate over that, right? If I just do pass here, will it go? Yeah, okay, it goes. And then just to see it, I know I should not use print, I should use, well, actually, yeah, why not? Let's try and use a. Um, Breakpoint. So I got to break. Oh, wrong thing. Oh, I got to do debug. I'm still not used to this either. One test passed. Debugger didn't hit it. Oh, is the debugger not work? Ah, oh, whatever. I'm just going to print. Wait, unless I did the wrong one. Propose. Test propose move list. I did the wrong one. There we go. Scene files is nothing. File set is AA. Cool. Sweet. Okay. I've never really used the debuggers. Um, so scene files append file set one. Nope, here we go. What we want to do is if file set one is in scene files, return false.
Otherwise... And I kind of want to... I want to kind of have an explicit false here. So... Okay, equals false. But I'm not testing that yet. How... Okay, um, we're overthinking right now. Scene files, if we see it, it's false. Otherwise, we add it. File set one. That passed. Okay. So that should be doing it. And now, hopefully, if we take dev away from... Wait, hang on. Let's do it this way. I keep I keep looking for the better way to do this. Because um, this will test both of them, I think. Or test all of our tests. Ah, something blew up. False is not true in somewhere. False is not true here. Which one was it? This one? It's probably this one. Okay, see that one didn't work. Okay, see now I don't want to mess with this. But it's okay to mess with this one because that was just doing straight true. So this is okay. So file set. Now I'm gonna have to think my way through it. File set append scene files append. So if for file set and proposed move list, right? If it's in scene files, false. Oh. past and then this is still pointed to dev but if I point this back to real that passes if we run this everything passes if I delete this I keep seeing that red flash I hate it don't make that red red I mean it's test your development it's red green don't make red <sighs> test. Maybe I should flip over to PyTest. Maybe it doesn't do that. Um, okay, so that's it. That lets us know whether or not it's okay to run. And so this is where we go. This is where we go integration, I think, right? Test change names. Test change names. None of these are going to work because there's all coming out, right? All going to explode. So let me take out the change name stuff. Because we need to rewire all this stuff, but that's okay. Did one work? Test file basic move. Which I guess we can actually get rid of. Yeah, there's no need to test this because the rest of them will test it. This this was just like an initial integration test just to see if that works. That's okay. So that's checking the basic functionality. But that functionality will be checked as part of the overall integration. Because like if it's not moving the files, it's not moving. Like files don't show up, something's wrong. Leave it in there for now. And so the other thing that I think we want to do
this isn't really a thing. I don't know. Oh, because I wasn't really using it. Um, you can't make this without passing it files. I'm just trying to figure out where I want to pass the files because you could pass them on a knit and have them already be there because they have to be there, right? So let's do that. I like that. We're gonna have to adjust all those cases. Maybe not. Mm, is that gonna mess with the tests? No, you can override them. I don't know. Like, I don't know what the good way to do that is. Or what the better way is. Oh, whatever, we're gonna not do that. We're gonna Stick with what we got and move forward. All right, so yeah, it's going to come in as a list, so we can just make the file list, right? Def test. Change the names. Source file list equals, what do we call it actually over here? Uh, snake case names, hello. Source files, just call it the same thing. Source files, just do, and this is where I, I mean really, we could just run all this at the same time, right? It's, I'm still, Hesitant about that. We're going to do it. We're just going to try it and see what happens. We're not, we're not launching a rocket ship here, so. All right, so we got that, we got that. And then let's do one. Let's do this one. I did not set up to deal with spaces after. Um, oh, actually, let's do this space because that's silly but sometimes happens let's do that so source files yeah okay So given that, when I mean, we should just really call it the thing, right? Snake case names. When you snake case names, then, yeah, this is pretty clean. Okay, this is cool. So first, does that run just by itself? No, okay, that was a good thing that we did that. Oh, snake case names doesn't exist as a thing. Okay, that's cool, we got that. And we're gonna nuke this because that's going away. M and OP QRS. Just pass it. All right, everything's passing. Cool. I'll make that go away for a second. So 
So when we do that, then, oops, I totally lost those. These should exist. I'm gonna get rid of, whoops, went the wrong way. That and that, just cause I'm not maintaining them. Wow, they were way tabbed over. Yeah, I'm doing myself a disservice here by doing all these at once, but that's, oh, I can actually, this'll work okay. Uh, I can do it one at a time here for a second, just to make sure. That goes away. That should go away. I think those all go away. I think that all goes away. I think that's the only one with an actual space in it. And that goes away. So this is going to fail because that file isn't going to exist. Also, this isn't actually doing anything yet. I'm trying to figure out what the quick way. Like I like trying to do immediate greens and then working back into it. Which would just be t like touching it on the file system. I'm assuming that would work here. Yeah, let's actually try this. Uh, in pi touch a file. Switch that back over there. Whoa. Yes, I know that that's not where that's supposed to go. I just want to see if this works the way I think it does. So we're literally just gonna put the file right there. Cause my understanding is like when this test thing fires up, everything on the operating system that it gets underneath it gets on this, this file thing. Well, it have to, right? Because it's already moving it. So this should work. Right, okay. Cause I'm, I'm just touching the file there. So now I've got my green and now I can work. So source files is coming in. So we do need to make the source file. Like that's something that would is the part of the test harness, right? Create file. And really what I should do is for source file in source files, create file Source file. Now, if I run this, still should be green because we're still hard coded. So now the file's there. Just so we can see that a little bit differently. It's kind of ugly for a test, but I don't have a better way to do the integration stuff on it. Snake case names. So for file set in self dot, we're going to do the, oh, no, no. So first thing is And this is where I need to figure out. So I just want to get it running first. So, 
Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm not testing yet whether or not it's a collision thing. So test the thing that we're working on. So for file set in file set in geez. Self propose move list. Um Yeah, so it's just OS rename. So we've already we will have already done our test. Yeah, so do file set. Ooh, don't do that. File set zero. File set one. No, uh, that's funny because this file is gonna exist in two places. But again, that's fine. Let's see if it works. So it's still gonna work because we're still hard coded. But the question is, can we take this out now? And will it work? It will not work. Crap. False is not true. OK. Now's when debugging is going to help. Because we're going to debug, and we're going to see what's in there. Debugging is new to me. Took a while to fire up. Uh oh, interesting. I may for one, it all needs to be lowercase. Second one is there's a space there that I wasn't thinking about. Okay, we got two things to deal with. Test snake case names. Uh, tester, 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 or 19, 18, whatever. Just gotta throw this right here. I think it's gonna stop the test, right? It should freak everything out. No, it worked. What the hell? Is that going to freak it out? I just need it to break so I can find it. No tests were found. Oh, the whole thing's freaking out. Okay, that's perfect. I, I need to get back to that. That I just found another thing that shouldn't happen. Um, and actually, I guess I need to fix that first. I do need to fix that first. Because I didn't well one I didn't put my I didn't put the proper thing down here but two I found an extra space there that shouldn't be there or an extra underscore that shouldn't be there between the dots. So we're gonna copy this. We're just gonna be test nineteen. I gotta change up the music that you can't hear still. Yet. Dun, dun, dun. So this is going to become uh, T W O dot more because I don't want any I don't want spaces by dots so this is gonna fail because of that space so now I gotta figure out how to take that space out uh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna send this to a new one. That we can play with because I don't want to break the existing ones. And I want to get to green here. 
So if I run now, it's going to fail because it doesn't match. But if we hard code it and pass it, it'll match. OK, good. Now we can do the work. Um, now I got to walk through the regular expression match. Regular expression match. Matches. So take out any, well, uh, whatchamacallit things. Spaces at the front, spaces before dots, spaces after dots. So I should probably move those down. Instead of making it spaces, make it underscores. This is where things are going to get kind of funky. So we're going to copy them, and then we're going to comment them, because we may need to get back to them. So this is doing This removes from the start. That removes any number of them. Let's do it here. And we're going to do any, no, sorry, underscores, any number of them followed by a dot gets replaced with just a dot. A dot followed by any number of underscores gets replaced with just a dot. What happens? It's passing, but of course we're still hard coded. So what happens if we take this out and we put that in? Passed. Okay, we got it. So that's cool. That's working. Now self whoops. Return self update name dev. File pass string equals file pass string. This is gonna test the rest of them without having really messed with it yet. 23. Okay, good. So they all work. Now you take this out. They all run. Oh, that was a good way to do that. Move it in, move the dev in, take it out. So the dev points there, they're all pointed there. Flip that. Yeah, that was a good way to do that. Pi setup dev method. So one, what were we doing? Um, I've been I've been struggling with that for a minute, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do this for a second. Um, ooh, that's a very small font. I mean, it's fine for me, but like y'all won't be able to see it. It did not change. Oh, weird. It doesn't. I guess I got to click on it. Ooh, 24 is too big. We're going to go 18. Sorry. So I just I, I found that I I like that. Um Syntax error. Ah. Widget tester. Unit test. Oh, you know what I should be doing? I should be doing this on the scratch pad. Uh, that would be smart. Directory. Method 
test procedure. Sure, why not? Uh, step one dot pi user bin environment Python three. So this is going to be class widget def. Um, I don't want to do a thing like cool method or whatever, but like um, worker. Return true. And then step one test.py, and I know that's not how you normally do that, but whatever. Or more to the point, I have a specific reason for doing that, which is I want to be able to still be, see them more. Import unit test class widget test unit test test case. Uh, def test step one uh, w equals widget oh so from step one import widget right Why didn't it like that? If name main unit test main. It's not passed. Why isn't it read? Unresolved reference. It's right there. I don't get that. It's probably something that broke with all my Python stuff. Um, oh, I bet it is the yeah. This is still three seven instead of three nine. I'll bet that's what's going on. It's the path is all freaked out. Oh, whatever, it's gonna be okay for now. Um, this is gonna take a minute. Step. Two pi add dev thing to work on. exist. Dev 
worker dev self turn false. See, I need to come up with like what the actual thing. Uh, this is just getting me the structure, and then we can go back and fill it in, which I'm probably not going to do tonight, but. Oh, um, really test worker, right? That's what we were going to have. worker is true when even uh you know whatever w dot worker I need to really get into these and do this. Was that two? Crap. What's the error? Worker missing one percent of itself. What am I missing? I'm missing this. Passes. Okay. Dev. Sure does. Dev. Not it. Worker dev. Uh, ha. From step two. Passing. Um. Okay. So. Right, and so that's cool. I'm with it. Step three, pi. Oh, no, I think I did that backwards. Yeah, this isn't, this still isn't right. Never mind. I thought I, I thought I had it, but I didn't because I, I don't know exactly where I went wrong. Of course, my head's completely out of this now. Um, Test in case names. I'm actually not sure though why that worked because I thought. Oh, 
Oh, I haven't. Yeah, I haven't copied and pasted the code in yet. So everything's going to dev. Oh, okay. And then you could do this. And then you could do this. This is fine. So we make this old and then we make this not dev. And then we run our tests. All of our tests. And we got it. Okay. So that was kind of working. I'm not going to mess with that right now. I, I, but I like that feel like I want that pace of it. I want to figure out the, the right, the minimum number of steps you have to do in order to make that kind of transition work when you like break out and move into a dev module, forward the stuff to it. Then your existing test, you point back to the first one, which is forwarded to it so that everything's ready to line up and then you just make the last switch. Okay, that's the way to do it. That's a good way to do it. Set up new test pointing to a dev version. When dev is working for new test forward existing non-dev module to it to confirm other tests work. When they do, repoint new test to point to non dev name, run, make sure craziness has happened. Finally, re rename non dev to old and dev to regular. Yeah, I like that. It's that last point thing that I got it because I Previously, I was changing two things at once, and I, I just didn't like it. Um, and this is this is a better way to do it. All right, so that's cool. Now we're going to go back to our integrations test. We're going to run it. It's passing now, which I was not expecting. It should not be passing. Because that's not what's in there. Oh, actually, let me do this. Take this out. Sorry, I'm bouncing all over the place just a little bit. Let me get that out. Snake case names. All right, so first of all, test snake case names. You come here. Save and run. You run, you run. All right, good. Uh, let's take this out for a minute. That can go away. That's gonna go away for a minute. Set up to deal with Another space by dot. I totally committed all the wrong files. Cool. There we go. Close enough. Uh, okay, so that's running. We can back out of this one now. Integration test. Should not have worked. Stop and rerun. How is that happening? That shouldn't happen. So we got this. Oh, my hard credit stuff again? No. F 
from rename, but it's not renaming. So we make the files. Now it's failing. I'm not sure what's going on. Cause this, oh, wait a minute. Is it, is it? <laughs> the file system's not case sensitive. I'll bet. Which is kind of tricky, like pass case sensitive even on Windows. Pass Windows not case sensitive, so Windows treats directories temp temp is the same. Pi actually treat them as two different things. Had the same problem. This is from twenty sixteen. It's like, I, well, here's the test, right? So if this works, it's making that file. That shouldn't work then, but it does. So it's not case sensitive, which is tricky because I'm trying to test case. OS path exists. Oh, maybe it's OS path exists. No, that would be weird. The file system must report back insensitively. Fake FS make case sensitive. Paths are case sensitive even on Windows, but they're not right now, but this is an old thing. It's from 2016. Just record, execute the exact test is given the image of post and it runs fine now. Okay. Which is which is case insensitive. True if case sensitive, I see that. Is case sensitive true if file system is assumed? Whoops. Fake file system. I'm not actually sure where I was defining that or where that gets defined. Fake file system unit test. Self set up pi fake fs. Pass separator patcher provides the appearance of a real directory tree for unit testing. Pass separator. Had real file, a real symlink, a real directory. Case, case, case. Text case mixin, test case mixin. 
Oh, test case, makes sense. Test case. That's not the test. That's not the test I'm looking for. Uh, but see, these are is these are responses class. Like when you make it, it's that's not getting to set it. True if case sensitive file system is assumed. How do you make that a case? Same thing. Case sensitivity. <laughs> Unit test didn't work, whatever. Um, file system, this is the same thing. That's possible I clicked on exactly the same page. Fixed handling of case changing rename with symlink raise several cases in many cases test case cases are incorrectly handled for added windows drivers support for case insensitive file systems i think we just looped Test case, test case, test case. Not testing case changes. Because Windows is case insensitive. That didn't work. Oh, come on. <laughs> the whole trick with this is I need to have case sensitivity. Um, I, mean, I could write my own thing on top of this, but this is, oh, snake case. Look at you. Convert value camel cuts. What am I looking at? Camelize. What is this? This looks awesome. This is probably exactly the thing that I need is what I'm looking at right here. What is this? I don't know what HG. This is a lot of data is what this is. Python, Jenga, Markup Safe. That's going to be funny. Rather than pervert to camel case string. This would be the same thing. Yeah, if C res append lower join decrease string. Yeah. Have the two list comprehension. The trick is that's only that's not dealing 
Python reduce method applies a function to all the string alphabets. Rough on upper case. I don't know what reduce is. But see, this isn't, yeah, I mean, they're doing kind of the same thing. I'm just cleaning up a lot more and I'm allowing other things to go. Like the, um, the regex is, the good news is there's not a module out there that does exactly what I'm looking for. I, I guess that's the good news. Um, oh. So that kind of throws a whole wrench in my thing. Um, I mean, not in the thing that I'm doing, but like, no, wait a minute. How? Oh, because these aren't testing on the file system. I need to check something. So. Pi fake FS tests. Test null dot pi. Because we don't actually don't need anything other than the test itself. Oh, I saved some other radio stations. Where'd they go? It's a bummer. That's some good stuff. going on why not working come on spotify do your thing new playlist oh there it goes got it oh but i lost one of them i had a really good one oh, bummer i mean this is it stand by sorry i don't want to lose this that's not my thing is that my thing whatever Who knows? We'll see what happens. Um, user bin environment. I guess the other thing I should do is actually figure out how to copy this test stuff, right? Test integration. Pi fake SF fake file system unit test. Well, it's possible that's not the right way to do this, right? Import it, I guess. Oh, pip. Probably that is what we wanted to do. Still nervous about all this stuff not working because it's like everything exploded for a little while. Test.
Oh, this path exists. Yeah, so it's not... Okay. I'll look at this for a second. Was that yellow? Oh, okay. Whatever. If name main So we have to read that that works with all the rest of the stuff there, but whatever, test failed, right? Because it's looking at two totally different things. So now, put that there. Test failed still, that seems kind of weird. What? Uh, okay, so we're gonna do something here real quick, which is we're gonna close all those. We're actually gonna close this. We're gonna go here. Uh, toolkit, scratch pad. We're gonna blow away the virtual environment. Gonna make the virtual environment. And we're gonna throw it to code. Oh, sh well, sh whatever. I do like the look of that though. There may be a command for that. It probably is. I'll find it at one point. I am not going to do that right now, though. Open recent scratch pad. New window. Still says Python 3.7 down here, which is not what I think it should be saying. These aren't 3.7s anymore. It's 3.9. I mean, I just did it with a 3.9. Like... Three nine. See, <sighs> homebrew fried everything. There's a Unicode test. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a pie fake thing test. Okay, fail because no pie fake, right? Because we just redid it. Cool. Install it. Now what you gotta do? Unit test is not defined. See that's so. Oh, why'd that get over there? Am I doing anything? Oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. Now. And now unit test isn't default. What's going on? Come on. Yeah, see? False is not true, but if we take that D back out of there and we leave that capital E, which is not the same, and then just to prove it this way, if we put an S in there and run that, it breaks. Oh, it says unit test is not, see? 
I don't understand. Now it's breaking. Now unit test is not fine again, but now it's not breaking. So, okay. Pi fake FS. Oh, this has been, this has been this week. Installation usage. I think this is exactly where I copied it from. Um, find all real life file functions and modules and stuff them out with fake file system modules. Uses are explained automatically finding patch and demonstrated those. Patch using Python test plugin. If you use PyTest, you'll be interested in the Py Py. Automatically patches all the file system functions and modules and similar manager card above. FS fixture for your test. But wait a minute, this is. Yeah, okay, this is still. Python talking to the file system and the file system saying, yes, this exists. Just to make sure. Test live. Import OS. Pi touch file. File path. Users. LNS. Desktop H E R E dot text So just run that, just make sure we're sitting there. Didn't show up. Oh there it is. Sorry, yeah, totally did. I just didn't see it. It was so fast. Um OS files exist, file path. So this should, because it's the same name, right? So we should see true. Just to put it in a var, so we're pretty sure we're doing the same thing. This should be false. Also true. What the hell? How did my file system become case insensitive? The it didn't used to be. Well, here's the real trick, right? So, touch file path two, right? Yeah, it didn't make a new one. Oh.
Let's choose. Yeah, let's choose that. I, there's no way this thing has been case insensitive this whole time, and I've never noticed, except for the part where maybe that's how it's been this entire time, and I've never noticed. I don't want to convert it. I want to see it. There was one of those that told you how to look at it. Core one. Wait a minute. This just doesn't make sense. Whoops. Neither's that. So. Holy cow, that is a change. That has to be a change. I am stunned. Well, I saw part of the, oh, it was sitting in the top of that Google results, that's where it was. Open the program terminal, just uh, scroll down, hit file system terminal, I show you the case sensitive or journal, it's just a drive is not. For advanced users from Unix, you may be able to order. All right, I don't know if this is gonna show, I'll be right back. I mean, I'll be here, but you can't see it. Disk util slash info or info slash. So quite possibly, when my machine moved over to 1013 and I went to APFS format, I guess it went case insensitive. I, like, I'm not angry about it. I'm just stunned by it. Because it absolutely... When did, when did 10.13 come out? Running these from 10.13 to 10.9, how to use a Mac, how to upgrade. Yeah, mine's right at the end of that. How to get old versions? No, download. Hi, Sierra. So when, I, I think that has to be it. it 
High Sierra was, re- was announced in 2017 and released 2017. I'm usually a year or two behind upgrading my machine, so I probably didn't do it until 18, maybe 19. And I only semi-recently did 10.14. I'll bet that's what happened. I'll bet I flipped it to... Um, How about I flipped it to APFS? Yeah, without case sensitivity. I've been, <laughs> that's hysterical. Yeah, APS volume, not case. That's It doesn't say case sensitive on it. Well, that's new. I still want to make sure this thing goes lowercase. Um, How would I test it? But then I'd have to like go through and test all. I'd have to like read the file paths back in and do it. So like, I'm gonna trust that the that the naming slam works. Oh, that's so funny. I don't know if I like that or not. Having been on case sensitive systems for the longest time. You know what? That actually explains. I actually ran into a problem when I was trying to change something in the finder a little while ago, some time ago, and it I tried to just do an uppercase A to a lowercase A or something, and it didn't it didn't fly. Now I know why. Oh, that's funny. Glad I tested it. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm not going to test one file. I'm not going to do that. Yeah, this will just be the test. Like, it'll just go or it won't. Let's get rid of all those. We're gonna actually drop basic move now because we're that's that's implicitly tested. So that's not one we're testing yet. I never would have known that if I hadn't been. Oh, see, I mean, I know it's working because I know all those other tests are working, but I can leave this like this. It's fine, right? So run, test pass, but I want it to fail first. So let's do this. Just make sure it fails. Yeah, OK, we know that doesn't work. So it's moving the path in, it's moving the file in, cool. All right, so that's that. And then let's do one with the path. Which is this one. Passing, okay, yeah, so it's all working. Uh, now, there is, of course, a trick. Well, I guess if you move a file to itself. I'm just trying to figure out if that could bite it somehow. I can't think through it right now. So, like, if... Well, you couldn't have two files in the same name and the same thing already. I think it's gonna be okay. That's super weird. And also this is yelling again. I don't, everything is freaked out right now. <laughs> Maybe it is time to get a new computer. You've been 
very nice to me. Um, you'd still be in the mix. Okay, so that's tested. So that's okay. We're good. That's the integration test. That's what we needed to see. It's doing renames. It's looking cool. Awesome. So main and the integration test tells us what to do, which is just for snake case name, source files, we make them. So we just add the source files and then we snake case names. There's your main. I don't know why that's yelling. Oh, because we've got it. It's actually like I'm doing a thing where you're installing it as an actual module. Um, all right, so let's see if we can make it go. I mean, that might be it. I do think I want to call it snake case names. Yeah. Yeah, OK, so I'm starting to fade a little. That didn't work. Why didn't that work? Oh, because I'm in the wrong place. Let's go to terminal. So I think it's from here, right? That's where the setup is. Yeah, so pip install. So we're in the VNV, so I don't have to worry about that. Editable dot. And there's a snake case name, so it's not doing anything. So let's find uh, as long as I stay in the virtual environment, I should still have access to it. Oh, that's actually something I want to see. So I don't think I've installed Yeah, so I haven't installed it up here. Okay, good, 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 good. Gives me more confidence in, to know what the heck's going on. <laughs> Look, I can do, oh. Uh... Okay, that's why I haven't noticed. It doesn't auto-complete unless you do the right case sensitivity. That's why I haven't noticed this yet. Um. How about that? Oh, wait. I guess it didn't put it on. Snake case names is not defined. Oh, don't tell me it only works at a specific directory. This is like that jumped into the directory. That jumped into the directory. That wasn't running a file, it was jumping into the directory. That happened to me earlier. but it's there. <sighs> it 
should be. Oh, 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 okay, that makes sense. You just do that from wherever? Snake case names. Dot snake case names, I'm guessing. So why didn't that put it on the path? So it finds it. Oh, actually, I'm kind of okay with this, I think, right now. Um, desktop. Snake case, snake test. Boy, that's ugly. So, yeah, okay, so it's not on the path. It doesn't put it on your path yet. So, star.text. Boom. That's what I'm looking for. That is it. Sweet. That was a lot of work. Uh, so, pi setup file setup.py. Just do that because I can look at the stuff that I want to put in there. One dot oh. It's been a ridiculous amount of time. Description. Package. We did find tool. We find packages. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Classifiers. Okay. That's fine. Power thumb require. I'm. This is all fine. Like it's. I'm not distributing this, so this is more just a little bit of practice. Um. Okay. The question becomes. So that's working. Now. Pipex. Oh, I need to go through all these things again. In order to test, you have to run a virtual environment. Yeah. 
general structure. Yep, there's our setup. So we got all that. I should add some more stuff in there, which I will at some point. Uh, words, words. So this is weird that I was calling it this way. Because the module gets installed. Yeah, so I guess the module gets installed regardless. Um. But I like that call. Snake is names main. Right. Pip install editable dot. Yeah, it looks like it worked. Okay. Um, which snake case names. It's so weird for me that that's not on the path, but it still finds it. Like if I go up a direct, well, if I go up two directories, if I go into the desktop, if I go into my snake thing. But like, it's not, there's no SNAKE case names. Oh, it did run it. Why isn't it auto complete it? That's really weird. I hope the real version does that. Um, so we've got all that. Main kicks everything off, but it isn't directly editable. Script user path. I yeah, get this. This is all which is on a path where I fix that, do that. Okay, yeah. Something like this, something like this, something like this. Otherwise, pip out because it's ready to go. Yeah, so. But I didn't actually do pip x install. I think you just do pip x install, right? I should have noted this. Pipex. Hmm. Kelsey. I'm not doing brew. That is on Mac OS brew and saw pipex. Otherwise install via pip. Yeah, I've done that. I already did this, but everything blew up in Python. Shell completions are available. Oh, uh, shell completions. Nope. Ah, see, it's going to Python. Oh, God. All right, three seven still there at least. Three dot seven. Ben. Pipax is right there. Oh, bad interpreter, no such file or directory. So here's where it blew stuff up. There's no more Python 3.7 because Homebrew ate it. Oh.
I don't know. Oh, God, I don't know what to do about that right now. Um, everything's so borked right now. That's what happened last time. Updating homebrew and it did, it took like an hour and went through everything. It was I was just sitting there watching it and going, this is not a good thing to have happen. That didn't take long. Is it giving me a bad interpreter and then still working? Oh, this is this is not in a good way. I've been blurred for an hour. Good things nobody's watching. Um, yeah, I think I, I maybe time to get a new machine. Um, Whatever, it's working. So add the appropriate command shell to your file. You likely have to restart and relog in. Product completion to start working. Bash. CSH to activate completion of GSH, you need to have the bash comp installed, whatever, after you bash completion. I'm not gonna worry about this right now. Okay, I think that's gonna do it. Like the thing's working. Um everything on my machine is in a poor state, but that happens sometimes. Uh and we'll just have to deal with that at some other point. And also my machine's case insensitive, who knew? So that'll do it. Y'all have a good one. Take it easy. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.